up, what are you nerdikins? This is the one and only Packer Girl 89 and today's manga nerdikin video is Dragon Ball Super Chapter 11 and I have my Future Trunks sitting up here because Future Trunks is coming back and I'm so happy because Future Trunks is my major anime crush and I'm not sure if I'm going to do anime reviews for Dragon Ball Super yet. I'm probably going to do am anime nerdigan videos for Dragon Ball Super when the dub comes out because then that way I could compare the manga to the English dub and it will feel right. So um, let's get to this. So the rep is like, um, so you mean um, you uh, you mean to battle next Vegeta and Vegeta's like, that's right. Um, but the challenger Piccolo's loss was nullified, so technically the next match um, still belongs to him. I don't. See, and Vegeta's like, I don't see Piccolo complaining, and Piccolo is like, he's just like stressed it out. And he's like, nod. Um, hold on, I need to scroll down. Come on, scroll down for me, Bibby. I'm talking to my manga here. Um, so the rest like, but but um, Vegeta's like, hmm, it's fine. Let him have his way. Very well. Um, ladies and gentlemen, the next match will be the Challenger Frost versus the Challenger Vegeta. And Trunks is like, Kid Trunks is like, whoa, Dad's a total badass. <laughs> and, you know, I gotta say, that reminds me a little bit of uh, Future Trunks. Because remember, Future Trunks worship Vegeta. It's good to see that Kid Trunks is sticking to that and basically worshiping his dad. And I love it. He's such a daddy's boy. I love it. Okay, here we go. And then, um, Beerus is like, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just a freaking second there. Goku, get your ass over here. You see, uh, you see that? Uh, Beerus is like, you see that? Look at that wound right there. Goku got stabbed by the needle, too. That is, um, that's a violation as well. I see, uh, I see now that you mentioned it. Indeed it is. And Goku's like, what? I'm back in the competition? Awesome. And Vegeta's like, wait, I'm going next. If you want to fight, you could go last, damn it. So then we'll have Goku go after Monaka. Is that okay? And Fierce is like, w what? No, god damn it. No, Monaka's going last. And that's final. Goku can go after Vegeta. And Goku's like, she, she really wants Monaka to go last for some reason. So, so what are we doing? Vegeta, Goku, then Monaka. That's the order. Got it. I love Beerus. Beerus is so awesome. And I gotta say, Vegeta in this manga is so freaking hilarious. I love you, Toriotaru. I love you. And then, ahem. Ladies and gentlemen, we apologize for the extended delay. Now we'll begin. We will now begin the next match. Let me scroll. Come on, manga. You're killing me here. I'm sorry, my manga is taking a second here to um, to load. Sometimes I think Microsoft Edge is a piece of crap, but mostly I love Microsoft Edge more than Internet Explorer. Come on, scroll. While I'm waiting for this to freaking scroll, um, I want to definitely mention that um, I've seen parts of the anime, but I have not been impressed because I'm just like, yeah, I like this manga a lot. Um, Frost says, fool, you'll be in tears regretting you ever got into this, in this ring with me. And Vegeta's like, oh, I'm certain someone's go uh, crying to, uh, uh, oh, I'm certain someone's going to be crying a river once this is over. And the, the, I love Vegeta. I can't wait for Chris, Chris Sabat, please, Chris Sabat, Funimation, Sean Schimmel, follow the script that Toyotaru has written, because it is so awesome, and I would love to see Chris Sabat as Vegeta here. Just, I, like, I can picture it in my head right now of um, Chris Abbott doing the voice of Vegeta. And same with Sean Schimmel. And I'm going, I'm, I, you know what? After this, I'm going to tweet both, um, or all of, both, nah, I'm going to tweet Sean Schimmel, Chris Abbott, and, um, and Funimation and be like, please, please follow the script of the manga. It's so perfect. Um, and Vegeta... Oh man, Toyotaro's artwork is so far is so beautiful. Ooh, go Vegeta, kick his ass! Oh Vegeta, kick his ass! God, this chapter is so beautiful. I can't wait to. I hope 
you know what I'm hoping for? I'm hoping, and I put this in a um, uh, comment um, on YouTube recently, uh, on, um, I should say today. Um, I'm just hoping for the love of Kami and Arceus that Funimation fixes the animation from Toei. Um, actually, the uh, animation from Toei has been good. If Funimation could, like, get fix the animation to where it's, like, Sailor Moon Crystal standards throughout the whole series, I would be happy with that. Because, again, you have to ask yourself, Toei, where the fuck have you been? Ooh, Vegeta! Come on, manga. Scroll for me! Oh, look, I love the look on, um, Kava and, uh, I love the look on all of their faces. It's so funny. Oh, and if you got, before I forget, if you nerdigans are interested in, um, in reading this chapter yourself, I actually will have a link in the description box below, because this site, um, that I, ha I found the manga on is fan freaking tastic Oh, Vegeta kicked his ass! And Vegeta's like, don't worry. If I killed him, I would have been disqualified. I went easy on him. Um, and we confirm the challenger's uh, Frost Pulse. The victor is the challenger Vegeta. Well, if Vegeta would have killed Frost, I have to say this. He would have, like, blown him away like Future Trunks did to Frieza. He Vegeta doesn't play around like that usually when it comes to killing. Um, everyone's cheering in the audience. Way to go, Vegeta. I can't believe it. Frost lost. No, no way. And, you know, I have to think to myself, what the fuck is going on in Universe 6? Is it a lot more peaceful than Universe 7 has been? And Chompa's like, phew. And Whisa's like, that's one less thing to worry about, isn't it, Lord Beerus? And Goku said he seemed so nice at first, but ended up being kind of a scumbag. And you know what? I just thought about this. Beerus? Why didn't you say it was, um, gonna be, the order was gonna be Vegeta, Goku, and Piccolo? Because Piccolo's not disqualified anymore. So I, I have to ask, why the fuck did you leave out Piccolo? I swear Piccolo is the, is the black guy in this in manga. Or in general, in Dragon Ball, he's totally the black guy. It's, it's sad. Um... And Piccolo said, after this, he might start becoming uh, more and more like the Frieza we knew. That's an interesting thought. What do you guys think, Nerdigans, think about that? Do you think that Frost um, is going to be more like Frieza? And if so, do you think Frost will um, achieve the golden transformation that Frieza did? I want to see Frost in the golden form. That would be awesome. Um... Well then, let us let us move on to the next match. The victorious 7th Universe Challenger versus the 6th Universe's Challenger, Otto Magetta. Uh, oh, man! I heard this fight was um, was decent in the anime. I hope it's good here. What the fuck is he drinking? So this is him. Toss. Come on. You're killing me, Smalls. You're killing me! I swear to Kami and Arcea, sometimes uh, these manga sites are slower than shit. And it pisses me off. What What the hell? That's the- and, uh, I love Elder Kai. <laughs> He's like, that thing's not actually a robot, right? And, uh, the Grand Kai, um, Grand Supreme Kai is like, foo foo foo. He's a metal man from Galaxy- um, six, uh, 66,950. I'm sure they exist in your universe, too. That's an interesting thought. Do you think that, you, you nerdigans think that this exists in, um, in universe seven? Does, I want, like, if they traveled to that specific galaxy in Dragon Ball Super, that would kick so much ass. I would love it. Um, study, uh, <laughs> and Elder Kai's like, study hard to the Supreme Kai. He's like, study harder for heaven's sakes. Ready, begin. Um, you know anything about this? Well, now that you mention it, it sounds kind from kind of familiar. Let's see. Oh, Vegeta, kick his ass! <laughs> Oh my god, 
call me. What if um, he was made of Kachin? If you don't know what Kachin is, you are not a Dragon Ball Z fan. You should know what Kachin is. Especially you English dub watchers. Vegeta just fucking transform! Shit! And Vegeta's like, damn it! Damn it, Vegeta, transform already, you motherfucker! And Vegeta's grinning. Two! <laughs> like, how it says two! It's funny! And Vegeta's like, what? what the hell is that thing? I'm telling you, he's probably made of Kachin! Is it, is it an, an uh, vulnerable Vegeta? Ring out! Go for a ring out! Um, Goku's like, do like I did. Pick him up and toss him out. Huh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Vegeta, why did you think of that? Like, why does Goku have to think of that shit? That's hilarious. Like, I can see Chris Sabbath saying, what are you talking? Like, like, um, before, uh, the, huh? Oh, yeah, he would be, and, uh, before Goku said that shit, he'd be like, what are you on about, you fool? Okay, you have permission to change some of the lines, Chris Sabbath. Oh, here we go! He transformed! <laughs> the look on his face is priceless! Man, now I kind of want to watch the anime to see if they did that. Because this is so fun of hilarious. Oh, man! Did we get it? Just smash Vegeta! Oh! Like, why did the head? Ouch! Goku's like, yeah, stop. This <laughs> is like, stop giving you ill-informed Ill advice, you moron. These metal men weigh over a thousand tons. Oh my god. Why did it? Oh man, but you, like, I know Beerus will end up saying this in, in um the anime when Funimation does it. Why didn't like Vegeta should have said this? To be honest, I kind of think Vegeta and Beerus should have said it at the same time. What do you nerdy kids think about that? That was like a total, like, maybe it's because Vegeta got hit in the head. That's why he didn't say that, so. And Goku's like, how was I supposed to know that? Piccolo said, so we won't be able to beat um, him the same way uh, we did Potamo. And I'm curious, like, I'm trying to remember in um, in the anime, in, D in Dragon Ball Z, when, remember when Goku was training for um, the tournament in the Majin Buu arc? I'm trying to remember um, how many tons he was training with. If it was, I think it was 100 tons. So, and if I'm wrong, please put it in the um, comments uh, section below. If it was 100 tons, then not, and Goku wouldn't be able to lift it. He might be able to lift it, actually, he might be able to lift it in Super Saiyan God Blue. Um, or for those that want to um, hear Super God... Um, Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan, there you go. Um, I'm curious if um, they would be able to lift it in that, because remember, when Goku went Super Saiyan, um, he was able to train with 100 tons easily. So I'm curious what you nerdigans think about that. <laughs> I know chips that could outsmart Kakarot. <laughs> so what the hell was I thinking listening to Sporadic Advice in the first place? This is Vegeta. I can't wait to hear Chris Savage say this. This is going to be funny. And I don't know if you nerdigans are um, uh, reading it in the Chris Savage voice uh, for Vegeta and the Sean Schimmel voice for Goku. And you know, uh, uh, that's what I do. <laughs> Um, okay, I think, Vegeta, I think, okay, think, Vegeta, if my attacks, um, won't have any effect on him, why the fuck are you attacking him anyway? Oh, I see what he's doing. He's gonna destroy the ring to get the ring out, or try and do that. Haha, <laughs> you've got nowhere to run. I'm going to destroy the entire arena floor. I get uh, it. If, if he's got no stage left to stand on, then he'll lose to a ring out. Pretty clever, Vegeta. Well, I think there might be one little problem to that plan. What if he could fly? Let's see if he could fly. What? Hang on a second. Isn't that against the rules? 
And uh, the ref's like, no, that is Magetta Spit. Or Magetta Spit. So it doesn't count as a weapon. Are you serious? Yes, Vegeta. What? Why the? Like, with that logic, Vegeta, you would a key blast would be a fucking weapon. What? What are you thinking? And we says, hmm, it was an inspired idea. Too bad his ex. Uh, Vera says, too bad his execution just fell a bit short. Fuck! Fuck! God damn it! How dare you attack me with your dis filthy, disgusting bodily fluids, rusted tin can shit bucket! <laughs> Oh, I love it! Phew! Huh? What? And, and Chi-Chi's like, huh? And Bulma's like, what now? <laughs> the face bomb! And Vegeta's like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> Vegeta has fallen to the floor and has lost her ring out. Um, therefore, the ch winner is the challenger Vegeta. What just, Goku's like thinking the same thing I am. He's, he, he's saying the same thing we're all thinking. He's like, well, what just happened? And um, we says, metal men are very delicate and fragile emotional beings. Being, being insulted or berated can easily crush their spirit, leaving them in a state where they lose their will to fight. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of Janemba, because I know it's not fucking canon. But remember um, in... Um, in Fusion Reborn, when um, PyCon was insulting Janemba that, uh, and Janemba's um, barrier that it started falling apart, that's what this reminds me of. I don't know if you Nerdigans thought about that, thought the same exact thing when you were reading this, but that's what I was thinking. So Metal Men are like Janemba. Beerus says, that's hardly common knowledge though, isn't that right, Lord Beerus? Uh, <laughs> I love Whis. And Mirus is like, I had no idea. Goku said, seriously, you could have brought that up a lot sooner, you know. Fuck that. Whis is like, ho, 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 you've got to figure um, out your fights for yourself. Go, Whis! This is why I like Whis. And Vegeta's like, phew, I'm not exactly sure what happened just now, but I won. Now then, we'll be... Um, uh, continuing on with the event, and Chi-Chi's like, anyone from Watermelon? Of course, Trunks and Goten are like, me, 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 me. The victorious challenger Vegeta will next be facing the challenger Kava. And, uh, Chompa says, listen up, your opponent is a Saiyan just like you. That means you've totally got a chance of winning this. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. He yes, sir. Vados is badass, like... <sighs> But, uh, so it turns out, so it sounds like, or I should say it looks like, Vados has the same ability that Whis does where they're able to turn back time um, up to five minutes. So there you go. And Mary's like, wow, magic. Yeah, yeah. Look at Pan. She's so adorable. Pan, please don't grow up to be the annoying Pan from GT we all know and hate. Or I will be mad. Kava's like, pleased to make your acquaintance. So, Vegeta says, so it's you. It would be in your best interest not to hold back. You better come at me with everything you got. And Kava says, that goes without saying. I like Kava. Let the next match begin. So, and that's where it ends. So, from so chapter 12 is going to be Kava versus um, Vegeta. I kind of hope that that's what the next chapter is going to be. Or chapter 12 is going to be mostly Vegeta versus Kava. But something tells me that it's going to be half Vegeta versus Kaba and half um, Vegeta versus Hit. And I kind of am hoping that um, that it's kind of that way. So that way, Goku, when Goku fights um, Hit, that it'll be at least one chapter, maybe two chapters at the most. So I'm curious what you Nerdigans thought about this chapter. Did you guys like this chapter more? Especially for those um, manga Nerdigans that have been watching the Dragon Ball Super anime. Did you guys like this uh, manga chapter more than how the anime did it or vice versa and what do you guys think of the um the artwork because Toriyo Taru um draws exactly like Toriyama in my opinion and it's beautiful and that's why I like uh, that's another reason why I like the manga more than the anime because sometimes the animation it, it kind of reminds me of how Sailor Moon Crystal was especially for seasons one and two where it was hit or miss it's hit or miss with Dragon Ball Super and that's just that's my opinion anyway but anyway, um, remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdigans Inc. 
And um, also, if you want to become a nerd again today, just feel free to donate to my Twitters. And, or not Twitters. Donate to my Patreon. I don't know why I said donate to my Twitters. Uh, sorry. Donate to my Patreon. The link is in the description box below. Also, um, if you want to see more of my shenanigans, please go follow me on Twitter, um, which is in the description box below as well. And until next time, Nerdigans, oh, we have to wait another month for this shit. Um, I will be seeing you guys later. Bye.